Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about sexuality and about ways of expressing and acting on your sexuality, and how I've come to a very different way of thinking about sex and sexuality than I see depicted in the mainstream. The main way I see sexuality depicted in society is this thing of like desire and wanting to get something. So the idea is that you feel attraction to someone and that creates this sort of desire to have some sort of connection with that person. And the general way of thinking about it is this thing that you, you get something. And if you hear, if you listen to the language that people use when they talk about this stuff, you hear that. Like people were talking about like getting some action or like getting laid, all sorts of language like that. And I really don't like this paradigm for uh, thinking about sexuality and experiencing sexuality. And I think that this paradigm is related to a lot of problems in our society, including serious problems like sexual assault and rape, and other just generally unsavory dynamics, things like sexual harassment. And I want to propose a new way of thinking about and approaching sexuality, which is the idea of gratitude and wanting to give rather than wanting to take. So instead of this idea of like, oh, I feel attracted to someone, I want to like get something from them, the way that I've come to think about sexuality is sort of reversed from that. It's more like, okay, wow, there's someone that I find really attractive. I really appreciate that. I like the feeling that I get from being attracted to that person. And I enjoy that feeling kind of on its own. I don't feel like I need anything from that person. So the first thing here is that there's this sense of contentment, of being self-contained, and not needing anything from anyone else. And I think this is really important because if you feel desperate, like if you feel like you really need to get something from the other person, that can cause you to put pressure on the other person. And the pressure can come out in all sorts of ways. Often, you only see that someone is sort of putting pressure on when you get to the stage of rejection. And like one of the common patterns that plays out is that someone will make some sort of advance towards someone and they seem perfectly responsible. Uh, positive and respectful in how they approach the person, but then when the person doesn't give the other person what they want, when they don't react positively, like maybe they shoot the person down, or they just ignore the person, or they just say no respectfully, when the person doesn't get what they want, then suddenly they react negatively. And I see this sort of behavior on dating sites all the time, especially with men directing it at women, but it can go both ways. It can happen with people of any gender. I see that someone will be like, oh wow, you're so attractive, blah blah blah, and then the person isn't interested, and then they're like, oh, you, you stupid, ugly bitch, blah blah blah, and they start insulting the person. I'm like, that, that comes across as really insincere, and that's kind of a more extreme example, but this happens on a more mundane level with smaller interactions all the time. That, like, people get upset when they get rejected, and I don't think that's healthy. I don't think you need to get upset. Like, if you're really happy with yourself, if you're self-confident, someone turns you down for something, like, it's like, big deal. If you believe in yourself and you feel like you're, you're fine as is, then that's great. So the, the, the idea of contentment here is important. So going back to what I was saying before, there's this thing of like, I find someone attractive and it's like, wow, I really appreciate that person. And then I want to think about approaching any sort of sexual or romantic connection with that person in terms of wanting to express my gratitude to that person. So this is not about me trying to get something or take something from them, but it's about wanting to give back to the person. So for example, I might find someone very attractive and I like the feeling that I get from being around them, from being in their presence, I like looking at them, I might, might like enjoying thinking about touching them, well, okay, that's an opportunity of something I can offer to that person. Like, if I find them attractive, it's going to feel easy and natural for me to give them compliments. And it's going to feel easy and natural to be affectionate with that person. So that's something I have to offer. I can be really caring and affectionate towards someone. And that's not inherently a sexual thing, but 
it's something that if you have a sexual attraction to someone, that feeling will feel more intense when you connect with someone physically. And this is how I found that most healthy sexual and romantic interactions start, is that it's like you appreciate someone or they appreciate you and you, you make some sort of offer to them in terms of just creating space for having a more intimate connection. And I think it's important to kind of ramp up the level of intimacy gradually. You don't want to go from zero to a hundred, you want it to be a give and take so that you give the opportunity for the other person to say no at every step of the way. I've also been on the other side of this where it feels like people are kind of trying to get something from me or like take something from me and it feels really icky. Like I really like when I'm being approached in this paradigm of someone appreciating me and offering something to me. Uh, so basically that's what I have to say. I'm sure I could talk about this more, but I think it's a pretty simple idea. I want us to move away from this idea of experiencing and expressing sexuality in terms of desire and kind of frustration and desperation, like wanting or needing something. It's really that need that I think becomes problematic. I want us to move away from that and I want us to move towards thinking about sexuality as something that we can experience in terms of gratitude and appreciation and offering something to people. Um, yeah, I think that would solve a lot of the problems in our society with respect to sexual relationships and romantic relationships. Yeah, thank you.